guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video and today's video is another cooking video and this one will not probably that be that long but today i will be making homemade beef stew in a crock pot so right now i'm about to go ahead and wash my hands and get everything set up and i will see you back when it's time to put everything in the pot so if you're watching this far please make sure you like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below any more suggestions and we can get right on in to the video let's go okay guys i'm back so i've cut up my beef stew and i've rinsed them these are also seasoned with some garlic salt and garlic i mean onion salt and um onion and garlic powder I also have a bag of mixed vegetables frozen. So let's open these up. I put these in here. So this is just some corn, peas, carrots, and string beans. Next, we got to add in our potatoes. I'm about to rinse these off as well. Okay, and then last but not least, this is the best part of this whole entire thing. This crock pot seasoning hearty beef stew. Yeah, so this basically says just to mix in one and one third cup of water. So I placed my meat and vegetables inside. Now I just gotta add the seasoning in the water and then cook this on high for four hours. So let's add in our seasonings. And when I tell you this is like the best beef stew you'll ever have, you'll be shocked because so far it's been the best beef stew we've ever had so now let me get in my cup and a one third cup of water one cup and one third is coming up one third all right, so that this is all in here. I normally give this a stir, so that way nothing is stuck. But see, these mixed vegetables are stuck because they're frozen. So eventually, these are gonna cook down 
and they're going to make their own juice so I'm not too worried about that but yeah y'all see what's going on here yes y'all see this this got all the season on the top but yeah let's plug this in and that's it and then we're gonna go over the manual okay so we're gonna put the lid on and it has these in handles on the side so you can lock in well i'll lock that to end but here are the power settings it's on we're gonna select for this thing stayed moving for four minutes okay four hours i mean my bad so it's gonna cook on high for four minutes and then basically we'll be back in four hours to see when it's done let me clock the handles and i'm gonna show you at the top okay that's how it looks on the outside all covered up he has these two locking handles on the sides yeah now let's get into the manual okay guys so today's crock pot we have is by chef mark and it is a seven quart digital slow cooker with high end locking function silver this is the instruction manual and let's just go over a few features a port and safety guard it should be known to anybody that messes with appliances do not place in water or you're going to get shocked and do not allow your children around something that's hot okay let's dig on into the rest of this part okay so this is what we have we have the removable lid the removable stone glass then you got the handles heating base control panel the control panel says on the bottom four to six hours on high eight or ten hours on low power indicator time selection settings turns power off shifts to warm automatically now a few years ago we had one that my mom had gave us i loved it to death because you don't have to worry about switching it to warm it automatically to do that for you that's the one thing i love about a digital crock pot now the manual ones is just high and low so when your food is done it's done you gotta just eat it as it is so the crock pot done preheated and now it's officially on this just shows you how to use the handles to lock it in place and open it and this is just how to use it i mean a crock pot is really self-explanatory but for two people out there who don't know this is what you got to do inside is our table chart and it's a lid you can do dishwasher lid and the stoneware Oven safe, the lid, no, but the stoneware, yes. Microwave safe, the lid, no. The stoneware, yes. Stove stop, stove top safe, no and no to the, to the lid and to the stoneware. You can also cook pasta and rice, beans, vegetables, herbs and spices, milk, hmm. soups, definitely. I've made a homemade chicken noodle soup from scratch in the crock pot before so i might think about bringing that back i included celery the egg noodles the fresh carrots cut up from the stalks a whole bunch of everything homemade chicken because all you do is take some chicken breast cook it everything like that and then when it's almost done you shred it and then the bees knees trust me yeah i better get y'all a crock pot you can do your meat in here, you can do fish, and you can do liquids. It's definitely great so you won't have nothing burning and drying out. Also, you can have, they have recipes in the back, so you can do baby back ribs, pull, ba barbecue pulled pork, beef bouillon gone, well, I, forgot, I don't know how to pronounce that, but you, you know, lemon herb roasted chicken. Chicken cacciatore. I've made this before. I made this on the stove, so I know it's good. Chili, of course. Pot roast, of course. Sausage and meatballs. I once made a small pork shoulder, which turned out to be shredded pork. So good. Beef stew. Ah! 
and easy healthy fish fillets yeah so guys that was the instruction manual basically i'll be back to when this is all said and done we're going to come back in two hours and we're going to check to see our progress then so stay tuned